Welcome to Bini Channel. In this video, I will take you through a brief explanation of a fascinating concept called Kolmogorov Arnold Networks, K A N, and how they can be help on solving mathematical problems. The aim of this video is to provide you with a basic understanding of KAN and their potential applications. However, for more details, I encourage you to refer to the original paper in the description. Before we talk about KAN, let's recall the concept of multi-layer perceptrons, MLP, also known as fully connected feed-forward neural networks, are fundamental building blocks of modern deep learning models. They consist of interconnected layers, of nodes with fixed activation functions, where each connection between nodes has a learnable weight. MLP are widely used in machine learning to approximate nonlinear functions and play a vital role in deep learning models. Now let's explore the interesting concept of KAN. It is inspired by the Kolmogorov Arnold representation theorem. KAN also have fully connected structures like MLP. However, there is a fundamental difference in how activations are handled. MLP use fixed activation functions on node, also known as neurons, whereas KAN place learnable activation functions on edges and no linear weight at all. The authors show that this seemingly simple change makes CANs outperform MLPs in terms of accuracy and interpretability. Let's dive into a demonstration to showcase how users can interact with KAN and obtain maximally interpretable results. We'll explore a scenario where training with sparsification regularization leads to significant sparsity within the network. In the example of the paper, we can observe that out of the five neurons in the hidden layer, four of them appear to be ineffective or unnecessary. Our goal is to prune away these redundant neurons. Now let's take a moment to see the dynamic demonstration of the training process we discussed. The GIF shows the sequential steps involved in training a KAN. We can see that the activation shape become much clearer after the training steps. Moving on to step two, pruning. In the context of KAN, automatic pruning techniques are employed to discard all hidden neurons except the last one. Through this process, it aimed to remove unnecessary components from the network. Interestingly, during the pruning phase, can observe that the activation functions associated with the remaining neurons appear to be known symbolic functions. This shows the interpretability of KAN as the activation functions can be expressed as symbolic form. Now let's proceed to step three, setting symbolic functions. Assuming the user can correctly guess the symbolic formulas associated with the activation functions by examining the KAN plot, they can manually set these symbolic functions. However, there may be instances where the user lacks domain knowledge or has no idea about the specific symbolic functions. In such cases, a function is provided to suggest symbolic candidates automatically. Let's move on to step four, further training. Once all the activation functions in the network have been symbolified, the only remaining parameters are the affine parameters. At this stage, the user can continue training these affine parameters. During, during this phase, user can monitor the loss function. When the loss drops to machine precision, it indicates that it likely found the correct symbolic expression that accurately represents the underlying mathematical relationship within the KAN. Finally, we arrive at step five and six, outputting the symbolic formula. The symbolic formula of the output node can be computed. It enables us to obtain a precise symbolic representation of the underlying mathematical relationship within the KAN. Upon running the computation, the user obtains the symbolic formula. In this section, we can explore the interpretability of KAN using a specific example, multiplication. For instance, a pruned KAN is obtained. The learned activation functions in this case are linear and quadratic. By examining the computation graph, we can observe that the KAN leverages the relationship to compute the multiplication of X and Y. Let's continue exploring the interpretability of KAN with another example, division. Similar to the previous example, the learned activation functions are log and exponential functions. It computes x over y by leveraging the formula at the top. 
Moving beyond traditional mathematical operations, KAN, also find applications in areas such as knot theory. Knot theory, a subject in low-dimensional topology, explores the topological aspects of three manifolds and four manifolds, and it has diverse applications in fields like biology and topological quantum computing. Given the fundamental nature of knots in mathematics and the significance of their applications, it becomes interesting to investigate whether machine learning can contribute to new results in this domain. Here, KAN prove to be valuable as they provide not just a single symbolic formula, but an entire Pareto frontier of formulas, allowing a trade-off between simplicity and accuracy. Additionally, KAN can be applied to solve other mathematical problems like partial differential equation PDE and the problems in physics such as Anderson localization, Currently, the biggest bottleneck of KAN is their slow training. Training KAN are usually 10 times slower than MLP, given the same number of parameters. However, the authors claim that they have not tried hard to optimize KAN efficiency. Therefore, the slow training of KAN is seen more as an engineering problem to be improved in the future, rather than a fundamental limitation. If you prioritize fast training, MLP are the better choice. However, in other cases, KAN can be comparable or even better than MLP, which makes them worth trying. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.